Okay, um, now I've repositioned and I've grabbed the next box. These are all top coats. So I'm going to go through these because I have multiples and I might be able to sell some of these. This is my Gelish top coat. Um, I'm going to keep it. I like this one quite a bit. This is a Rainbow Honey Royal Fruits scented top coat. I've been using it, so I'm going to keep it. This is a Wet n Wild matte top coat. Um, I'm going to, I have a bunch of matte top coats in here. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, this is Muscovite scented top coat from Rainbow Honey. I like the smell. It smells like laundry detergent. It smells good. This is Rainbow Honey tea biscuit top coat. I'm going to get rid of this. I do not like the way it smells. This is just a clear coat from Wet n Wild. Um, uh, let me see. What's the difference? This one's tinted purple and this one's clear. Yeah. Try to see the difference. Clear protector and one's a base. So the purple one's a base and this one's a top coat. Um, let me see how many Wet n Wild top coats I have. I do have this Rush top coat. It's a huge one. I'm keeping, um, this is a matte top coat. I want to keep one matte one from Wet n Wild and the rest can go. This one needs to be shaken up. Okay, so this is another matte one that's going to go. This is an NYC longwear top coat. I'm going to hold on to that for a second. I'm going to set it right there. I don't know if I want to keep that or not. Um, these are the purple ones. These are the base coats. Okay, so what do I do with that other base coat one that I had in my hand? I don't know. So I have two base coats right here. Um, I usually use like different base coats than this, or I'll use a top coat as a base coat if I'm going to use base coats. So I'm going to get rid of two base coats. These are top coats. I'm going to keep at least one and throw the other one in the basket. Here's another one. This is a gel extreme shine top coat. I'm going to keep and get rid of that wet and wild one. I do want to keep a lot of top coats. I do go through top coats like crazy. This is a base coat from the color workshop. I probably can't sell it, so I'll probably just keep it. This is the glow top coat from uh, Essence. I don't have any other Essence polishes, I don't believe, but I do have um, a bunch of other glow in the dark ones, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, this is a top coat from the Color Workshop, which I guess we'll keep. This is a Madly Matte base coat. I've used half of this, or top coat, I mean. This is from Clean Color. I've already used half of it, so we will keep it. I have another one here. Um, that only gives me two matte top coats if I keep one wet, or, you know, two and a half, because this one's almost gone. So, um, yeah, I'll keep that one. Uh, here's another base coat from Wet n Wild, another matte top coat, and another clear coat. So, I'm going to get rid of those. This is a Pure Ice Girl on the Go. It's a quick drying top coat. I do want to keep that. This one is a strengthener from Sally Hansen. I've, I've used it quite a bit. You can tell the cap's kind of messed up. Um, you can't really see how much is in there. It's actually like halfway, like uh, not halfway, but it's got like that much, you know, left to go in it. I'm going to keep it. Um, oh, here's the other base coat. I'm going to keep that base coat. So then I have these. These are Speed Dry top coats. I'm going to keep... Um, they're Neutrodale. I like this. This one's a high gloss. And then I have two speed coats. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the high gloss one. And then this is a Bulletproof Strength Formula. This is for, like, nail strengthening. So I'm going to keep that. Um, let me put these back in there. That's not too bad. I got rid of some of them. Okay. So on to the next bucket right here. These are like nail arts kind of polishes. Um, I haven't been through this in a hot minute, so I don't know what's good and what's not. This is MASH Nail Design Pen. Um, it still works, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try to sell it because I don't use it. These are the Sephora Formula X, the get the foil look. Um, I did use this one time. Um, I don't know. 
if I want to keep this. Um, I might try to sell this set. It has been used once. It's called 10 Below. And it's pretty damn close to that color right there. Um, it's like the mirror finish, but it's a one night wear polish. So I'm going to probably pass that and see if I can get rid of it. This is a Cherimoya Magical Nail um, Nail Striper in Jade Potion I'm going to get rid of. These I'm going to keep because I haven't really played with them enough. They're the Stally Hansen Miracle Gel. You're supposed to put the special top coat on them. Um, this one was given to me, and the green one I bought, um, this is Reggie, and this is Supercharged. Actually, I might get rid of Reggie and keep these two. I have a magical French white cream that needs to be shaken up like crazy. Don't know why it's in here, but I'm getting rid of it. I don't think this is any good. This is Cherimoya. It's like the, um, crackle polish, and it's so separated that once they do that, they go bad. So this one is going in the trash. This is a Glow in the Dark by Santee, um, like the nail art pen. It needs to be shaken up, but I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this is a black Sally Hansen that's completely dried out, so it's going in the trash. We have a white NYC Longwear I'm going to keep. Um, I might get rid of this one. This is in Melon Green. It is a limey green striper, but I don't use them. I don't even know why I have them. This one is in a wild rose I'm going to get rid of. I have a silver and a hot pink I'm going to get rid of. And then like a fuchsia color I'm going to get rid of. Um, I might actually keep the silver glitter one just because it's a silver glitter striper. Probably I'll keep that. This is in Art Deco green one from LA Colors I'm going to get rid of. And then the black striper I'm going to get rid of. This is supposed to be sc black scales from Funky Fingers. I'm going to um, throw it away because I know the last time I tried to use it, it did not crackle the way it was supposed to. This is a black wet and wild polish I'm going to get rid of because I did keep a bunch of blacks already. Um, these little ones, this is a sassy and chic nail one. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this blue one. Um, this is a spotted one. If it still works, it makes it spotted like the nail shows. I don't know if you can see it on there. I'm going to keep that, but the 2012, um, again, that's all not going to crackle anymore and it's all dried out, so I'm going to throw it away. This is a Sally Hansen crackle and it's a glitter crackle. Um, it's still pretty full, but I'm going to get rid of it. It's a crackle overcoat. So I did it pretty good on clearing that out. Those are like my designer... It's like my design bucket. So I did pretty good on that. So um, I'm going to cut the video off right here. I believe that is it um, on everything that we needed to go through. Um, I do have to make a video still of everything that I'm getting rid of and so that I can post it and sell it. And I will still make another video telling you the end account of everything I got rid of, everything I kept, how much polish it was and whatnot and I'll show you the final results. Um, I'm going to sign off of here and I'll see you guys later.